Hello everybody, so the rules I'm going to do is my WMI Hour World Reaction. Um, it was June 13th, 2016, it was June 14th, 2016. Um, the announcers were JBL, Michael Cole, and Brian Saxon. Let's pay respect to Orlando, the people that got shot up. Thank you. Now, first I'll talk about the New Day talking, and then Kobe Kingston shoes. They talk about that, and Team Soft comes out there. Enzo Moore and Big Cass, and then Kobe Kingston and Xavier Woods and Big E. Start talking show because it's going to be an eight-man tag team match because then the Vault Villains come out. Simon Gotch and, uh, and Aiden English. And then Luke Gallon Carlson come out, so then they have a match. But Luke Gallon Carlson ended up doing the match killer to Kobe Kingston, ends up beating him. One, two, three, and they end up beating, and that's what happened during that match. There was lots of action going in between. There, if you haven't seen the match, I would just go back and watch it. It was a pretty epic match. Second, they're talking about the Shield uh, Survivor Series, November 18, 2012. Um, that's when they debuted and did a triple power bomb to uh, Ryback. Um, because, you know, it's leading up to now is the Ambers Assign, which is back uh, by, by proper layer from Shane McMahon and uh, fans. Third, Darren Young by Backlund is the same thing that it always was in SmackDown. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Fourth is uh, Shane Man starting to step in, man. Like Corp Kane's there, like he's got his resume and his brother, other integrators, right? and he wants to take control of uh, SmackDown. He wants to be the general manager of it. Um, fifth, Zachary's talking about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles out of the shadows that Shane says all gloating about, and then he says that okay, Paul Cruiser punches him right in the face and he's a little upset, and then he goes like, "You think it's funny?" He's like, "Apollo," and he's like, "You think it's real funny? Get out of here." Uh, six, uh, April seventh, two. Oh, well, it was 2014, The Shield and Evolution. You remember that? That was pretty cool. Um, seventh, Premium Epica, The Shining Star Career, just a crappy promo. Eighth, um, Thomas O'Neill came out. He's going after his first title, but he got attacked by Rusev and gets kicked to the back of the head. And uh, Rusev does that clearly twice. So does this mean uh, Thomas O'Neill going to win? Who knows? That would be cool. Um, ninth. June 2nd, 2014, the show was gone because Seth Rollins took a steel chair and planted it in the back of Roman Reigns, and he did it to the Ambrose and then Julian Devolution or whatever. Um, he brought it into the better himself or something. And yeah. 10th, uh, the Ambrose assigned. The Ambrose is the host, and Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns are there. Um, there, there was guest. Uh, and then Seth Rollins is like, and he never beat me for that title. If you're our champion, why do I have this? Well, Warren's has been been up for a title, but, um, nonetheless, um, someone's like, I'm gonna beat you, and everyone's like, I'm gonna retain, and I'm gonna beat these guys, still. And the dealer's like, I'm gonna win the Money in the Bank match, and I'm gonna cash in, either it's you or you, and Seth Rollins is pushing him into Roman Reigns, and Roman Reigns does Superman punch to Seth Rollins, because he's about to pedigree the Ambrose, and then Dean Ambrose turns around, does dirty deeds to Roman Reigns, and looks up to the Money in the Bank roofcase, could that be the case, could that happen? They were talking about all the S.H.I.E.L.D. stuff, like, Wyatt Family, and evolution and the portrayal and everything security and everything um so that's why i'm there 11th streaming match talking to john Cena, but don't really talk about much because they didn't say anything just they were just talking they didn't say nothing 12th uh page versus charlotte with uh Becky lynch and the out there charlotte is with uh donna brooke and donna brooke throws her in there where she's not supposed to because i get back in there and then page does a kick to the face and does rampage and ends up being the women's champion, and Donna Brooke, uh, uh, Charlotte's a little upset from Donna Brooke, she goes to commercial, come back from commercial, and then, like, uh, and then, uh, she's just like, well, this happens at Money in the Bank, if we lose, you, and, and it's you, I'm gonna blame you, and you're gonna, then I'm gonna betray you. 13th, so I'm talking about AJ Styles and Contra Shining, and, uh, yeah. 14th, uh, Dean Ambrose is talking to Stubby Man that he's going to have a match versus Chris Jericho in the main event tonight. Hatred, use it, use it, it, it could be used in good ways. Yeah, sure. Um, 15th, uh, Cesaro's having an interview and the same thing comes in like it's nothing. Renee Young interviews him and he goes like, you, you, I've been here for four years, you've been here for four nights. And like it or not, I don't care if you came from NXT or not, you, when you get here, you start over. You still have a lot to prove and that, yeah, you have a lot to prove, basically. They're going to match tonight, basically, yeah. Um, 16th, uh, the Goldberg W2K16 game. We are on all platforms, PS3, PS4, Xbox One, Xbox 360, and PC. Maybe VR in the future. Ooh, oh, yeah. Um, 17th, uh, 
Charlotte and Donna Brooke, like I already talked about that. Like, money to make if we fail, you're going to be, I'm going to attack you, and you're going to be out of here. 18th, uh, Zack Ryder versus Seamus. Seamus beats him, bro kicks him, and attacks him afterwards. And Apollo Crews ends up coming out and beat up Seamus, so we'll have to push Apollo Crews because it's supposed to make him look good, like beating four-time world champion, one-time, oh, f former four-time world champion, one-time, yes, well, former one-time United States champion. Apollo Crews, yeah. Dun, 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 19th, uh, Money in the Bank 2010. Remember when Kane won rough shot and he won the briefcase and an hour later cash in on you know, Ray Mysterio and Jack Swire's match and pins Ray Mysterio and ends up winning the World Championship. That was pretty cool at the time because they set up the Undertaker feud with him. 20th, uh, Shazara versus Sam Zayn. Remember when Shazara won it, like when he was walking on SmackDown, that he had to go under live and have bad luck, so I think he's not going to win, but then, uh, for that reason, um, but, and, uh, well, they didn't do that at that time. And then Cesaro ends up losing because he versus neutralized and everything. Those and those come on a weird roll up thing and boom, power bump thingy. And Sami Zayn ends up winning. Ding ding ding. He wins. 21st, uh, Kane is right there. He sets up a match with uh, Brother Rue because Brother Kevin goes like, uh, you should not, you should take a Brother Rue out because he's late. If he's late for Money Bank, then he shouldn't be here anymore. He shouldn't be in the Money Bank match, he's saying. Um, he was like, I know he did that. I'm a five hour, my plane five hours late. Um, and then Kane sets up a match with the uh, Lucha Dragon, Sin Cara, and Kalisto versus Kevin Owens over there. If you two don't get along, if you lose to them, they will place you in the Money Bank match. Well, you can't do that. Um, Shane was like, yeah, that'd be a good real exercise. Good job, Kane. Good work. Um, so that's pretty, that's good, pretty cool. Uh, John Cena and AJ Styles contract signing. Look, there's two contracts because they're just talking trash to each other, basically, back and forth. Who's better, blah, 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 blah. Um, Michael's out there, uh, well, then, two contracts. Is it John Cena versus AJ Styles one on one or John Cena versus Club? AJ Styles, Luke Allen, and Carl Anderson. But now he signs the con he, uh, John Cena said he's going to sign the contract. Like, I think he's going to be my own, so I'll just do it. And then, uh, like, and he signs, he goes, like, Yeah, there you go. All in. Everybody's going all in. That's, I like it. As you Bill said. Um. Dun, 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 dun. Twenty third. Um. Kevin Owens versus Alberto. Well, they're just talking to each other basically, but then they burst afterwards, and then Kevin Owens versus Alberto Del Rio. Oh, well, no, over. over they talk. Oh, they're they're talking about like. Uh. Well, I forgot to talk after the match. Uh. Yeah, Kevin Owens and Roger Rivers versus the Lucha Jets and Sin Cara and Clisto. Looks like they're about to win Sin Cara and Clisto are, but then Kevin Owens does pop a power bomb and ends up winning. And Roger Rivers kicks him beside the face, and the friendship is no more, so that happens. Uh, Money in the Bank 2013, uh, member, um, uh, uh, Randy Orton won the Money in the Bank match, and then a month later, he cashed in on Dan Bryan. Triple H, one, two, three, wins up winning, and that started up that feud with Dan Bryan rising up. Yeah, that was 23rd, 24th, 25th, uh, 26th. The Miz is not going to be at Money Bank. The only reason why I want him to be at Money Bank is if he loses the Intercom Championship. He's in Marine 5, a crappy movie, so basically that's all I'm going to talk about. Um, well, Shane Man and Stephen Man, like, says, Kane, you don't got the job, but Shane Man's like, uh, to Stephen Man is like, uh, well, I'll run, or we'll both run co-op Raw, but I'll I'll run um, SmackDown, okay? And then the main event happens, uh, maybe it happens, and, well, it's all about, hey, I want to be on commentary, too. Kevin Owens is going to be on commentary, so same thing. Or he's going to be the ring beller, and Sorrow's going to announce. Um, and then it's going to be Dean Ambrose versus Chris Jericho. He's like, here comes Chris Jericho. Here comes Dean Ambrose. And Dean Ambrose ends up winning because Chris Jericho tries to do dirty deeds. And then and then uh, of Dean Ambrose's move. Um, and then Chris, I mean, Dean Ambrose start, tries to do Wild Jericho to Chris Jericho, his move. But then ends up winning. Does a, this is a clothesline, whatever it's called. Like, out of the rope. Whoop, dirty deeds, ding, ding, ding. Dean Ambrose ends up winning. And then the brawl happens where... Kevin Owens ends up beating up Ke uh, Dean Ambrose, and then Sam Zayn goes after Kevin Owens, and then backstabber Alberto Rio does to Sam Zayn, and then and then here comes uh, the Cesaro with the uppercut to him, and then 
Then, then Sami Zayn goes flying to all Cesaro, Alberto Rio, Kevin Owens, and Dean Ambrose. And Sami Zayn's out too. And then Chris Jericho gets the ladder and climbs up and holds the briefcase. And that's how we enroll, like with him holding the briefcase. So will he win or because he invented it? So it would make sense. But I want Dean Ambrose to win so he can, uh, why did it spoil it? I just say totally your favorite. Uh, well, there's another one. Um, so Dean Ambrose, uh, if he wins, he'll interfere in both. And then it'd be like a shield triple threat match. So that'd be pretty cool. Like this video? Leave a comment what you thought of doing the Night Night Raw and subscribe for more. Hope you guys. Bye bye bye. Bye.